Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Korach, a group of very, very important men who were traveling with the Jewish people through the desert, who were traveling with Moshe, confronted him. And they said, Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, why are you taking all of the leadership, all of the grandeur for yourself? After all, there are many great men amongst the Jewish people. Why aren't we the leaders of the Jewish people? And then they said, Moshe, you are simply haughty. You are seeking kavod. This is the irony of ironies because the Torah itself tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, was the humblest of all men that ever walked the earth. So how could you say to the humblest person in the world, you are haughty? Where is your credibility? How could it even be? And the answer is that this is the irony of life that exactly in those areas that we are accused of are often the areas in which we excel. People will find our excellence and accuse us of the opposite. Moshe was the humblest of all men, being accused of the haughtiest of them all. And how can this be? And the answer is that there are three approaches to humility. There is the person who is just not humble. He loves the covet. He loves the respect. He loves the grandeur which he is receiving. There's another person who seems to disdain it when he walks in the room and people stand up. He says, no, no, sit, sit. When he's given accolades, he says, please stop. But then there's the third person, which is Moshe Rabbeinu. And Moses was just above it all. Whether they disgraced him, whether they gave him all the respect and honor that a human being can get, went over his head. And it was possible that he wasn't that person who was saying, please sit, please don't give me kavod. And it was possible that that's why he looked. That's why he may have even acted as if he wasn't the humble man that he was. And for us, the lesson is clear. We are the students of Moshe. And the idea and the goal is not to act in a humble fashion. The idea is to be humble. The idea is to truly understand our position in this world, understand what we are, who we are, and are we what our relationship is to God. And if we can internalize the true humility of standing before God, then we deserve all the honor in the world, all the leadership in the world, and we become the future of the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom, Umevorach.